Okay, hello everyone, this is Colin Cox, and in this short bit of audio, and this is for English 1020, in this short bit of audio, I just wanted to remind you of a couple of the assignments that are due this week. I wanted to uh, remind you of the locations where you can find assignment prompts, and just broadly speaking, some of the expectations for everything that's due this week. So uh, what's nice, I suppose, about these end of unit weeks is you don't have any new reading or any discussion responsibilities. So you'll see that in the week nine reminder announcement. That's something you don't need to think about. And this is similar to the end of the poetry unit, if you remember that. But this week you do have both an essay and an exam due. And what you'll notice, of course, in the assignments tab, both of those assignments folders are open. They're available. I'll say this a couple of times. Just make sure you label everything correctly and submit everything to the correct folder. Now, you have until the end of the week, Sunday at 11.59 p.m., but you may submit these assignments whenever you would like, so long as you submit them by Sunday at the end of the day. Of course, I have a late paper policy. It's on the syllabus. If you need to use it, you can. But a couple of things to remember in particular about the short fiction unit exam. This exam is in many ways exactly like the poetry unit exam. The only difference is instead of using poetry, you'll use short fiction. But read all of the options carefully and make sure you understand what I want. For example, you have four options and I want you to select two of those options and write short essays in response to two of those options. And each essay must be three to 400 words. Now you can exceed that word count if you want, but a couple of you had questions. Maybe there was a bit of confusion with the poetry unit exam. You are not writing collectively three to 400 words. You are writing three to 400 words per essay. So I suppose collectively, the entire exam is six to 800 words at minimum. Just keep that in mind. Ensure that you label everything correctly. Ensure that you quote from the text effectively and you cite everything correctly and effectively. I've posted a lot of material on Yuja in the content tab, etc. So just, I would encourage you to refer to those resources, but you can always email me if you have questions. Now, regarding the essay, you are only writing one longer essay in response to one of the options on the essay prompt. The prompt has been available for a couple of weeks, so ideally this is something you have already started thinking about, maybe even started um, brainstorming, outlining, writing, etc. I know a couple of you have submitted rough drafts. I hope to get to those today, which is Monday. So uh, if you have any questions about the essay, again, don't hesitate to contact me, but I think everything is clear. And again, what you'll notice, the mechanics of how I want you to do this, they're quite similar to the poetry unit. The only difference is, of course, you're working with different texts and you are um, responding to uh, potentially different questions. So please keep that in mind. Okay, so I think that's everything that I wanted to say. Again, I like to keep these short, and you'll notice if you're listening to this, you already know this. Instead of waiting until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, I try to make this available as early on Monday, just so you can listen to this receive, again, just some clarifying information if necessary, and then proceed with your assignments for this week. But as always, if you have any questions, if anything is unclear, please don't hesitate to email me. Okay, have a nice week, and I'll talk to you soon.